Hello to you, wherever you happen to be. Our action comes to you today from Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Aston Villa up against Tottenham Hotspur. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Bentancourt could play it in. Wonderfully weighted pass. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Corner given to Spurs. Who can they pick out? It's not a particularly good corner there. Coutinho. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Options in the centre. Very quick thinking there. Well, oh, that's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. Matt Doherty. Kulusevski. And Spurs moving the ball with purpose. Kane. They really look after the ball when they have it. And off the post that time. But the assistant referee has his flag raised. Consa. It's with Douglas Luiz. Ramsey. Coutinho. Lucatinha. McGinn. Back underway, 1-0 it is. Going well, but nothing comes of it. John McGinn, Ramsey, Ings. Good physical play. Perfect challenge. Eric Dyer. Now Son. Javier. Now Romero with it. Matt Doherty. Kane. Bentancourt. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Well, as you can see, Villa are seeing much less of the ball, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Douglas Luiz. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Is it going to be Danny Ings? And up for grabs off the keeper. Well, threat over for now. Romero. And Hoybier with it. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Really getting stuck in. And there it is, the half-time whistle.
The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Coutinho. It's with Douglas Luiz. Ramsey. John McGinn. Watkins. McGinn. Ings. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. Kane. Can he get them level? Could be. And pushed away to safety. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Look at Dinia. Ramsey. McGinn. Ollie Watkins. Tremendous challenge. Reguilon. Son. They've chosen to go through Harry Kane. Options around him. And return to Kane. Son. Here's Kane. And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. Substitution for Tottenham Hotspur. Coming off the pitch, 21, Dejan Kulisevsky. Coming onto the pitch, number 27, Lucas Moura. And a Tottenham Hotspur free kick coming up. Kane. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. This looks promising. McGinn. Esri Consa. Now the attack looks promising, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Bentancourt. Given away by Tottenham. And an astute piece of defending. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Matt Doherty. Son. Now Harry Kane. And return to Kane. And the referee has pointed to the spot. He's given the penalty. And now, let's see if they can level it up. Chance to even things up here. And a timely penalty save. Well, he's avoided a booking, but the complaints continue. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor foul. It should be a yellow card for me. Oh, just wide of the mark. Goal kick. Well, that never looked like troubling the keeper, did it? But it was worth an effort. A good strike from him. Ten minutes to go. John McGinn. Matty Cash. McGinn. Excellent defending. Well, shortly we'll hear the final whistle. The home side with the lead. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, it's been a tight game, but I think they've been the better team. They've just had that little bit more quality, certainly in attack, and of course they've been well organised at the back. They just need to see this through now. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Chance to run at them. Can he play it in? Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and the finish is really well taken, because he judges the flight of the ball, uses the right technique, and then makes such good contact. That's a clever goal. 
Well, a second goal for them here. And that is that, the final whistle here.